Tonight, there is news of yet another shift within the opposition party. Reports began surfacing late Sunday evening of Patrick Faber regaining the seat of leader of the opposition. The party has been mum on the new developments, but Love News has been able to verify that indeed a change is coming. The internal division has been building up for some months now and had possibly come to a head when Moses Shine Barrow garnered majority support to oust Faber as the leader of the opposition. Chairman Michael Parafit has expressed determination at trying to get the factions to come to the table to hammer out the issues, but that was back in July when he appeared on the morning show. What we have to do is to get people in the same room. Yeah. And say, let's, let's make a start with that. We get you in the same room. No cell phones, no disruptions, no meetings, no appointments. Let's sit in a room for a couple of hours, say what you have to say, and then we move forward. And then we, we, we take definitive steps to, to set meetings and to set as a priority us communicating with each other on a constant basis. Yeah. And that, it is from there then, it is from there. It is, I guess, upon that rock, you build your party back again. It is anybody's guess if that coming together was attempted, but with recent developments, there is a clear indication that the fences aren't mended and power moves are still at play. At the start of the month, Faber spoke briefly on the internal matters of the UDP. The truth is that our party is governed by mechanisms from the inside, and while we have a public face and we would hope that in fact some of these things were never put in the public that it would we would try to solve them in the in the privacy of our party um the truth is that some of it has spilled over and the truth is that so Belizeans uh, need to know at least some level of what is going What's on going because on? they depend on us the recently reported actions to remove shine barrow at the head come as a surprise for many as Shine had not too long ago been making news in Belize and the U.S. for his rise in politics and his connections in the music industry. But was that visit to the U.S. more for personal gain or for the party's best interest? Faber believes it may have been personal. There was no consultation, and not even with us as parliamentarians. So I don't know that he can say that he represented even the opposition parliamentarians. Um, mm -hmm. It may... Uh, have turned out well in terms of the engagements that he made, at least publicly. Um, but we didn't know. And I'm not going to, to say anything else other than we did not know. As a party, we certainly did not know. And as parliamentarians, we were never consulted about that mission. But the leader of the opposition uh, carries a certain um, freedom, I guess, to, to, to make that kind of engagement. He probably will say that he does not need any kind of permission from uh, other members of the parliament or even the, the, the political party which he represents mm -hmm. um, to do that. So if, he, if that is his position, fine. In this instance, I think the results, at least thus far, have been uh, very fruitful, it would seem. And I am not going to rain on the parade of uh, him working for his constituency, uh, him even trying to uh, make his contributions to strengthen the party in terms of those relationships, and especially not uh, rain on the parade of him trying to create those um, those relationships that may help Belize. As for Shine Barrow, he would not comment on camera to Love News on the reports, but would only say, quote, If there is a change, I am sure you will be provided the letter to the Governor General. Until you are provided such proof, then you should reserve speculation, end of quote. But it is more than speculation, as credible sources say that there was a meeting on Sunday, September 12, between Faber and John Saldivar's caucus for change. Further information says that there was also a truce. Contrary to reports, however, Roosevelt Blades would remain campaign manager, and there is no move afoot to get Khalid Belisle to give up his bid to be Balmopan's standard bearer. Several sources within the UDP have confirmed that Ugo Pat has signed on to the letter of support for Faber and that Tracy Panton may just do so within the next two days. Reporting for Love News, I'm Dale McDougall.